Hello everyone. Welcome to this next video in the series of plant uses in the medicinal purpose only. Today we will deal with the uh, one of very important processes to use the plants as the medicines. This is the talk on healing power of the herbs. This healing power of the herbs is because of the extraction and decoction processes which will give you the specific attribute of that plant to cure any disease. So this power of the medicinal plants is very important to understand that what exactly is the reason and why this power is there with the plants. So dear friends, we will see that this medicinal power of the plant are because of the specific characteristic features and the, those characteristic features make this a, a unique feature that 80% of the world's population still relies on the medicines procured from the nature and specifically from the herbal medicine and this is the reason that these plants are used frequently all over the world as the healing power. Now this healing power is the main source of health and the uh, formation of many modern drugs. These modern drugs are having the source from the plants and that's why these uh, plants are having the greatest healing power and this greatest healing power is because of the plant parts which may be the direct use of the plants or they are the products of the plant. So either way either the plant or its product that are used in the plants and these are the variety of the plant parts which are used as the specific material for synthesis of the drug or to use as the direct medicine. So there may be stem, root, leaves, flowers, seeds, bulbs, fruits, all the parts of the plant are useful as the medicine. So dear friends, these plants, if you consider the use of the plant parts in the medicine, then you will be able to see here in the pie chart that 100% of the roots, 100% of the roots are having the medicinal property. Next to that, it's the rhizomes which are around 93% of the rhizomes which we uh, know they are having the medicinal properties. So this pie chart is giving you the idea that roots, rhizomes, stems and leaves are most frequently used plant parts for preparation of the medicine. This is one of the uh, study made by one group and that is exploration of the complete profile of the plant and its organs for its medicinal value. So let me understand why these plants are having this kind of the medicinal property. These plants are because of a specific composition of the biomolecules are very importantly used in the uh, medicine. These biomolecules, these biomolecules are the basic reason to cure the disease, basic reason to act as the supplement to the diet in case of its application as the nutraceuticals. So basically these biomolecules are produced in the plant in different phases of its life because of its interactions with the environment. Different environmental conditions will give you the different profile of the biomolecules present in the plants. These uh, biomolecules are the outcome of the physiological processes which are going on in the plant. And these physiological processes are governed by the genetic material of the plants. That's why this physiological process, any, any physiological process will give you hundreds of the secondary metabolites and hundreds of the plant products which are having the specific medicinal attribute. And finally, these secondary metabolites which are intermittently produced in the process of uh, any uh, physiology they will be having their distinct and unique characteristics distinct and unique medicinal feature so that's why this is the reason we can say because of the biomolecules plants are having those medicinal attributes those medicinal uh, values for the mankind so where 
ever we will get the plant product and plant parts that plant products and plant parts are having the seasonal variations in its composition this seasonal variation in its composition is because of the uh, genetic regulation due to environmental factors and that are leading to the production of different mo molecules in different seasons and that's why plants are having a greatest value in a specific period and a region so these are the reasons for being medicinal now let me understand what exactly is the process in which we can harvest the medicinal properties of the plant here it is the flow chart which will uh, give you an idea that plant material will be used as the solid object and that will be the material having the specific biomolecule of our interest and that plant part will be solubilized using the solvent this solvent may be water alcohol glycerin or any uh, extractants in which we can place the plant part and that will be allowed to react and this reaction will extract will take out all the biomolecules which are of our use and those bio biomolecules will be extracted for the further applications in the medicinal uh, uses of the plants so we need to understand what exactly is the process to harvest the medicinal attributes of the plants let me understand that this is the specifically designed and defined activity extraction process is the specifically designed for example we would like to harvest some special molecule then there will be a special solvent then there will be a special process in which the molecule will be extracted and that separate molecule will be only that molecule say for example we are extracting the alkaloids so alkaloid extraction will be having the specific solvent and that solvent will be giving you only alkaloid not at all any other molecules like carbohydrates or any lipids or anything else this is only for the specific biomolecule and that's why this extraction process is very important and today we are understanding what exactly is the extraction process in case of plant extraction this plant extraction is the process which aims at extraction of the certain compounds present in the plants it's very clear that we are extracting the specific biomolecule or specific component present in the plant and that molecule will be extracted by using this separation operation using the solid and liquid part solid part will be the plant and liquid part will be the solvent now this solid part or the plant material will be placed in the solvent as i have already uh, told you that this solvent may be even simple water or this may be alcohol or this may be any extracting uh, solution which will be produced as a result of the extraction process from the plant material now this solution whatever solution will be formed after the process of extraction that will be called as the solution which contains the desired extract and this desired extract will be further processed to eliminate its solvent part and only the extracted biomolecule will be leaving for applications and that will be used further as the medicines now this particular plant extraction process this plant extraction process is uh, done by a variety of the uh, users generally if we are preparing some sort of the powders out of the plant definitely that will not be the process of extraction mind well extraction will be here it is the extraction of the active components extraction of the biomolecules which are present in the plant by using some sort of the extracting agents like the solvents so this is the way in which we will extract the plant material and its biomolecules now what exactly are the necessities for the extraction for the extraction process we will be in need of the particular solvent which may be the alcohol which may be water or which may be glycerin likewise so these are the processes which are very importantly applied for the extraction infusion in case of infusion we are placing the plant material in the warm water or the hot water for getting the molecules out of it or 
secondly maceration this maceration will be simply crushing the plants in a specific uh, solvent for isolation of the compounds or else this is the very important process of the decoction wherein we will get the concentrates as a result of the boiling process of a specific plant part in a specific solution mostly this is the water say uh, then hydro distillation is the process which we uh, will have to go through for the extraction then we will have the variety of the processes for extraction as simple as just boiling the plant material onto our stove or there are very high profile uh, tools available in the industries for the extraction purpose so we can use the simplest way or the complex way for getting the purest compound uh, available in the plant so what exactly are the materials these materials are uh, the plant material that may be stem root leaves bulbs or any uh, special plant like petals or sepals so because of the specific organ having the specific biomolecular composition we need to select those plant parts and it should be equipped with our laboratory or uh, industry or our house should be equipped with the heating methods or heating tools and finally these extracts will be prepared by a specific method for that purpose we used to have the vaidus we used to have the herbalists we used to have the doctors and those doctors using their art using their art of extraction with the applications of the uh, scientific processes that's why these are the persons from the art background having the role of the scientists because of its specificity in the entire process of the extraction we need to have the specific selective method of extraction and this extraction process is now modernized and this modernized extraction process is having the automations automated machines are there for the extraction purpose and that extracted materials will be the purest materials and this purest material will be available because of the specific tools and techniques for the separation for the isolation for the purification for the crystallization etc so these are the variety of the processes which are coming out of the research work in the engineering and that are the process engineering for a specific process there is the engineering to get the specific uh, biomolecule out of the plant for its applications then these biomolecular compositions have been studied a lot for its uh, availability for its applications for its side effects or whatever are the variety of the analytical parts of the plant material in, and its application that has been already been studied now this particular extraction process is having the variety of the new uh, modern technologies like high pressure uh, materials or high pressure tools for extraction of the biomolecules from the specific plant material or they are the microwaves they are the application of ultrasound uh, energies they are the variety of hplcs the, they are the separation techniques as well as they are the extraction techniques these modern technologies made this extraction a very easy and very time saving process uh, as it was in the older days that it took uh, months together for extraction of anything right now we have fastened the processes and strengthened the uh, molecules which we have isolated finally this particular entire process should be mastered by someone should be mastered by a specific purpose and because of that mastery is in need of scientific understanding similarly that is also required to have the knowledge of our traditions because those traditions are giving some hints for a specific availability in a specific time in a specific period in a specific organ so this all is there in our tradition we need to understand our tradition we need to understand the modern uh, tools and techniques we need to understand our plant itself so overall this modernization process made the extraction process very simple now in case of the uh, specific extraction process these plant materials and solvents are very useful and these solvents and the plant materials are 
combining in the process of extraction. These solvents may be the liquid or they may be gases. For example, water we can use as the liquid or its vapors we can use as the gas for the extraction of the specific material. Now, this uh, process will be requiring the preparation of the homogeneous mixture in equilibrium and that will be giving you the uh, cracking of the material or it will be simply macer uh, maceration process in which the plant material will be crushed for the isolation of the material and that will be further fractionated by using filtration or decantation or centrifugation like many processes are available for the fractionation. Fractionation means what? Fractionation means separation of the biomolecules on the basis of their molecular properties. So, overall these uh, processes are required. Now, in case of the diagrammatic representation we can see that plant material is there that plant material will be taken into the container having the specific solvent that will be macerated by using the homogenizer and once that macerated that will be filtered and that filtered content will be concentrated or purified in a specific uh, use of technique then whatever will be available that will be the extract and this extract may be a dry extract, this may be liquid extract or this may be paste extract. So, overall these are the three forms which are uh, available as a result of the complete extraction process. Now, this entire extraction process is giving us the complete profile of the process and that is giving us the specific biomolecule and that biomolecule will be obtained only going through this all processes. Filtration, through the membranes or by spinning or after the completion of the entire process it will be rectified and that rectification will be further lead to the formation of the concentrates those concentrates will be precipitated and that precipitated the contents will be crystallized for the specific uh, molecule and that molecule will be atomized further to get the specific biomolecule. So, overall this entire process will be requiring the raw material, solvent, variety of the devices and the various processes to get the complete extract out of the plant. So, the, here it is the depiction of the complete extraction process. You will be able to see that plant material will be extracted by two processes. First, it will be simply extraction and second, it is the distillation. You are very well aware that distillation is the process in which we used to boil the plant material and whatever will be the evaporates, that evaporates will have the particular contents and that are called as the hydrolates or in a simple way, floral water. You may be aware, uh, aware that many of the uh, processes in our tradition are just keeping the flowers in the plant uh, plant flowers into the water and that water will be used after a few hours with a divine power because that presence of the flowers in just the water gave the specific value to the water and that is supposed to be the holy water you are knowing that we used to uh, get the water that is the tulsi water uh, floral axis or inflorescence of the tulsi is uh, placed into the water and that water is supposed to be the holy water in many of the traditions so this is the floral water if it is the extraction process that extraction process will be forming the concentrated materials the extraction process we are aware that extraction will be of the plant material by using the solvent. Now, this concentrated material will be going for the first it will be either atomization or secondly it will be for the formation of the liquid or third it is the formation of the paste. So, these are the three ways. Now, in these three ways if we are going for the atomization then definitely here we are getting the specific content, specific molecule or in liquid formation if we uh, are in need of the liquid formation, solution formation, then there will be use of the different 
solvents here in this case solvent it is the aqueous extract it means that it is only extracted in the water it is alcoholic extract using the alcohol then hydro alcoholic which is the use of combination of the alcohol and the water glycerin extract or it will be glycerin plus water extract that is called as the hydroglycolytic extraction or we can use the oils for the extraction so overall these all are the solvents giving uh, us the specific liquid formulations whereas in case of the paste formation we can get the soft paste formation or we can get the concrete concrete means this will be with the help of the fresh plant material we can get the specific hard material which we can use and last one that will be resinoids this resinoids are prepared by using the dry material in case of concrete it will be using of the fresh material raw material and in case of resinoid it will be the dry material dry material will be placed into the extractant process and there will be formation of the different levels of the extracts so overall this entire process of the extraction will be using variety of the processes we can produce the bioactive compounds we can extract the bioactive compounds these bioactive compounds will be encapsulated now here we are going to the formation of the drug using the particular extract here it is the encapsulation encapsulation will be requiring the emulsification means whatever the biomolecule which we have extracted that will be emulsified that will be coated into the specific material and it will be forming the capsules the process will be called as the encapsulation now these capsules now these capsules will have the active biomolecule of our interest and it is having the capsule now this capsule will be the house of a specific bioactive molecule and this bioactive molecule will be used to cure used to treat the disease so this is the overall process in which extracted molecule will be used as the medicine will be used as the drug so this process is very importantly called as extraction and later on let me discuss about the one of the various processes of extraction that is the decoction decoction in marathi we used to say that uh, decoct means kada we used to boil the material plant material and that boiling will be simply the extracting and extracting the many virtues of the herb into water decoction is the extraction of the values of the plant material into the water but while doing this process this process will be having a specific objective to prepare the decoction in aqueous solution means we are using water only and this will be extracting the soluble active principles of the herbs and that soluble uh, active principles will be solubilized into the water by applying the heat in the aqueous condition so that will be boiling of a uh, content boiling of a raw material from the plants in a water for longer duration and that will be giving us the decoction and this decoction will be having the different steps in case of the decoction process what we used to do we used to get the specific plant product it will be crushed grinded and placed into a cup of cold water for some time then that water will be heated for specific time it is just gentle boiling it's not the harsh boiling it's the gentle boiling in a pot with closed lids with a cover because the active principles may be uh, volatile they may be evaporated so it should not happen that's why the decoction uh, process will be in the leaded container and that will be for 20 to 40 minutes depending on the material which we are using then this entire material will be reduced to 10% that will be boiled a lot and that will be up to 10% of the entire content then finally let me remove the lid and let the decoction cool then it will be after cooling it will be ready only the thing is when we are using the decocted materials 
mine well the decocted materials are the concentrates so while using these concentrates you need to decide the dosage that dosage will be depending on the concentration and its application what exactly is the potency of that particular extract that you need to decide and accordingly you will have to use if you have decocted the material then you can store it into the uh, cold conditions and then you can use it in the next 48 hours it's the way in which we can have the decoction so this all is the process of extraction and the decoction finally this entire process of the decoction or the extraction will give you the molecule of your interest that interest will be to cure or to prevent or to enhance your immune mechanism or to support your immune mechanism or health in general and you will be able to get the divine power of the plant for your service so dear friends this is the way in which we can have the extraction process thank you very much